Oh, yeah. There we are. We're both here. Good. Well, Happy New Year for 2023. Yep, Happy New Year. Yep. Right. Wish everybody a much better year than last year, and yeah, yeah. all goes well. Yeah, that'd be great. So we, what I thought we'd do is, um, before we start this new year, just recap on what might happen in 2022. And obviously you can see it, go back through all the videos and so on. But just to recap, the year we started off when we were planning our South Island trip. Mm -hmm. And that was in January. We had a few jobs to do first. And one of them, which was going to cause a bit of a problem, was the caravan itself because we discovered when the warrant was done that the springs um, needed redoing and the bracket that held the springs on was quite badly damaged so there's no way we'd get around the, the South Island. And also on top of that we had the shear belt getting things done on there, eh? Yep, engine reconditioned and... Uh, yeah. yeah, all the engine reconditioned and so yeah. on, yep. So, um, yeah, so that was so it was a rush against time really. We we had just January to do it, and because um, we wanted to head down to Taupo to to an AGM um, before we headed off down south. So while I was waiting for all that to happen, I went out and bought a new toy. Um, I'm getting funny looks. <laughs> um, I went out and purchased an e-bike. Got um, Darren from. Vagabond Life to thank for that. Um, he actually did a very good video on his e-bike and so I went out and purchased the same e-bike. Then also on top of that I decided to do, while I was waiting for the caravan to come back, to have the, my first attempt at doing the inside of the camper van. But um, didn't get very far with that because one thing or another I just got distracted. I bought the new bed base, that's right, for the, for the bed. So um, got stuck in and did that. When the caravan came back, so I had a lucky enough. I had a few days left, so I got that done, and then we headed off down to Taupo hmm. for the AGM, wasn't it? Yep. So we went down to Taupo for the AGM, which is our Lilliput Caravan Club that we belong to. Um, so um, that was quite good, except the weather. I think the weather was the weather crap. I think when we. The weather wasn't fabulous. It yeah, really wasn't. Yeah. It's very similar to the weather now. At the moment. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, wasn't very good. So um, anyway, by the time we left Taupo, uh, we hit off. We planned on staying in Turingi for one night, and then we're going to head off down to Palmerston North to Nicola's cousin's place. Mm -hmm. And um, but however, when we packed up uh, from Turingi and we started to head out, uh, we we're going up this little rise and there was roadworks and um, when we slowed down for the roadworks, the stop go thing, um, as soon as I stopped there was steam everywhere and um, so we, we had major problems. So we uh, turned around and headed back to Turingi and lucky enough the guys down there, we what was it, Turingi Auto Engineers or something like that. Um, anyway. They were fantastic. We went back. Um, they said, leave the car with us. We've got a guy who has dealt in classic vehicles. He'll come along and have a look. So, lucky enough, the result was it was just the radiator cap hadn't been put on properly by mm, someone who will name Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we got the tablets reset because they were rattling a bit. So they looked after us and the next morning we were able to continue on our journey. So I didn't actually think we were going to make the South Island at this stage because we had the ferry booked. We had Blue Bridge, wasn't it, going mm. down? Yes. So lucky enough, the next day from Turingi we went down to Palmerston North. We stayed, at, as I say, at Nicola's cousin's place down there and had a couple of great days down there and had a look around. Um, and then from there, we went to a couple of coast. Um, little bathroom, toilet, and shower on every site. It was fantastic, wasn't it? It was. It was neat. It was marvelous. So um, yeah, so we stayed down there, and um, we had some visitors that night, and we went to their place, um, 
and had a look around. It was really, really good. Went out for dinner. Lovely start to the day. Well, to the evening, I should say. And then the next day, we left very early because we had to catch the Bluebridge Ferry across to Picton. And we had an early sailing, didn't we? It was about 8 o'clock or something in the morning. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so we hopped on Bluebridge and went across. And I must say, Bluebridge... The boat was okay. Um, the meals were great, um, weren't they? Yeah. The meals were fantastic. The boat was good. It was, mm. yeah. Yeah, so um, it was a good trip. We had a lovely weather going across. And um, so then we arrived in Picton and we stayed at the Picton Top Ten, wasn't it? Yep, yes, yes it was. that's right. Picton Top Ten. Which was lovely but very tight sites. Well, yeah. tight for us anyway. Yes. Yeah, and the, and the only thing is the Picton Top Ten, it's sort of on the backs into a hill, and a lot of the sites that we were offered were sort of like on an angle, which was very good. So we did actually move to a nice, reasonably flat site, mm. uh, which was good. Um, so we stayed there for I think a couple of nights, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we just sort of had a look around the shops and stuff, didn't we? At Picton. Um, can't remember. We did so many things. It's, it's I think we, we pretty much went straight through to Blenheim and had a look around the surrounding areas because That's there right. was an occupation in Picton and they, um, in Nelson Square, so we tended yeah. to avoid Picton a little bit. Yes. It was quite congested, so yeah. we went to Blenheim and we went to... Um, had a good look around Blenheim. Oh, that, that, that's when we went to that pie place, wasn't it? Mm. Remember, and we also, that's right, we also went to that um, museum. We spent the day then went out to that Amaka. Amaka mm. Museum. Mm. Yeah, we went to the um, yeah, which was what we Museum. Yep. Yeah. We didn't need to go into the um, to the planes. We just didn't have time. But mm. yeah, apparently it was fantastic. But the Kaur yeah. Museum was was really it was really, really good. Interesting. Yeah. So um, yeah, so we did that. So we spent the day in around Blenheim Way and came back. And then after a couple of days, we headed off down to picked and went to Kaikoura. Mm. And we stayed at the top ten in Kaikoura, which is a lovely campground, um, nice flat sites. <laughs> um, so very is, clean, very um, yeah, very well laid out. And while we were there, we also popped in and had a look at the Kaikoura Car Museum. I got one there mm. that we had a look at. It's also well worth having a look at if you're in the area. They've got an old-fashioned diner there, fifties diner with um, with real donuts. Which I don't thoroughly recommend. <laughs> yeah, donut king. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, we had a look around there. Then we headed off from um, Kaikoura. We headed down. That's right. We headed down to uh, Timaru, and we sort of bypassed Christchurch, didn't we? We went around we the did, back. We did. Yeah, mm. there was a big COVID outbreak there. So, yeah. Um, so we kind of just avoided. Um, both Christchurch and Dunedin, for that reason. Yeah. Um, so I saw the smaller towns, which was neat. Hmm. And um, well, with it, oh, on the way down, we we had an electrical problem, didn't we? We saw an auto electrician. Mm, the wipers weren't working. Oh, that's right. Our yeah. wipers stopped working. Yeah, which is um, a bit frustrating, but. Yeah, but anyway, got those fixed, and um, well, they tried to fix it, but yeah. it didn't work. No, they just suddenly came right on the road. Yeah. Yeah, just, just fooling around with them, they came right. How, but, mm. yeah. I think I found out that the wiper switch, if I, it's one Jiggle of those ones you pull out and turn. I just thought that if I pulled it out and gave it a good rub, maybe the connector was all it needed. And it seems to be, it's been fine ever since, so, mm. so that was all right. Um, didn't want to do the whole South Island without wipers. But as it turned out, we had hardly any rain for the whole time we are in the South Island. Yes, hardly. so. That was lovely. Pure. <laughs> yeah, so um, so we stayed at Kaikuru, uh, sorry, Timaru, uh, Timaru Top Ten once again, and uh, lovely campground, um, quite a, a different sort of campground, wasn't it? it? Had all different levels and things. Yeah, it was really mm. interesting. Um, mm. There's obviously an older portion of it, and then the um, the new um, parts sort of been built, built on, added on over the years, which makes for a nice mix. And, um, mm. and the sites were large. Um, yeah, comfortable. Yeah. Um, and the amenities were um, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Mm. Um, 
So that was very good. And so we stayed there just for a night or two, and then we headed off down to Omaru. Oh. And um, we stayed in Omaru, I think, for about three nights. Yep. Um, Loved Omaru. Yeah, Omaru it was, was neat. great. It was really interesting. Yeah. Really interesting. Yeah. Very yeah. friendly, very, yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, just a neat mix of shops, neat yeah. mix of people. Yeah. yeah. It's the sort of town that um, you go to and you'd love to go back again because it's just something about Omaru. Um, you go into some of the shops and the shops, that, like half of the shops in New Zealand as well as shops, mm -hmm. that's within the shop. But they've got the um, that lovely Omaru stone buildings. They're absolutely fantastic, aren't they? Yep. And you just don't get that anywhere else in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. In the Steampunk Museum. Oh, the Steampunk Museum, yeah, yes. That was neat. And yeah. the historic precinct. Yes. It's yeah. all Victorian buildings that they've preserved. They value the heritage, which I like. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's sort of like in my, uh, well, our previous video of Omaru, I called it something like, um, was it a, a, a town that's a living history? Mm. Because it shows you the past, but they also, the people dress up in the, period clothes and there's guys playing pianos in an alleyway somewhere there's there's things going on and it's All it's really neat yeah, yeah it's yeah. lovely um lovely town um and also we we got to see the penguins <laughs> yep. out there and of course we we got friends who live in Omaru so we popped in and saw them and uh, had a lovely time in Omaru yep. um, fantastic um so after a few days there, we went to oh, the where the boulders were. Moraki. Moraki boulders. And so we spent another couple of days there. And um, we caught up with Bronson and Chelsea and the um, Harvey and Piper and Ruby. Ruby, I think, yes. Ruby and that from Adventures of Rosie. And uh, we had to walk along the... Um, the beach here looking at the boulders and um, had a little little bit to eat in the cafeteria with them and it was a great time and we, mm. we had a really enjoyable time so we'll have to do that more. Okay, um, so after staying there, or oh, that campground there was, it was a funny little campground. It was up on the hill, um, rather unusual wasn't it? It sort of clinged to the side of the cliff wasn't it? Yeah, clinged to the side of the cliff. Mm. Um, I thought it was yeah, clean and it was... Yeah, the amenities good. were great. Yep. They were fine. Um, there was nothing overly flash about it, but it was clean. Very comfortable. Uh, and yeah. good showers and everything else. It was fine. Everything was good. So we enjoyed that. And so we went from there to Balclutha and stayed at the Balclutha Holiday okay. Park. I don't think it was the top ten, that one. No. Um, no. But anyway, no. stayed there. Lovely campground. Lovely owners. Quite a hard case. Mm. And... Um, we had we stayed there, and the reason why we stayed in Balclutha is we wanted to see the Catlins, but I didn't want to take the caravan around because I didn't know the roads that well. So we did Balclutha and did the top half of the Catlins, and then we, um, from Balclutha, we went to Wyndham. Wyndham, that's right, a tiny little campground in Wyndham, and... Um, it was basically a, like a big field, little buildings on one side, and that was it. Um, but it was it was great. It was ideal for what we wanted. And we did the bottom half of the Catlins from there, didn't we? Um, so that was that was fantastic. And the bottom half of the Catlins, is that where Slope Point was? Um, yeah, and we also went to Owaka as well. Oh, Owaka, yes. Mm. Yeah, that was no. great. Great yeah, shops neat, there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Neat Shop Come Museum. Yeah, that was yeah. huge. Yes, some of these places are well worth going back again, you know, because um, you just want to be nosy and see everything. Because you look around the shop and that, you think you've seen everything, and then you can go back another time and oh, yeah, you see something else. Mm. So it's good. Um, so that was um, Wyndham, and then Wyndham, we left Wyndham and went through Gore. I think we had lunch in Gore. Yep. Had a look around Gore. Yep. And the bakery there. Oh yeah. The bakery come. Um, Bakery. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Came to spot them. <laughs> yeah, the bakery and that. It was lovely. And, um, and of course, Gore in New Zealand is well known for its country... Country music. Country yep. music. Country music capital. Yeah. 
and uh, we went to have a look at the museum there, but unfortunately it was closed. But um, so but the shops at, were great. And we looked at the whiskey museum instead, so that, but that was not oh, a yeah. shop. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have anything, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, we had a look around there and, and the shops, as I said, and, um, and also one thing that was very interesting about Gore is the we found that they still had the meters, mm, parking right, meters. Parking meters. Yeah. yeah, we put the old coins in and turn the dial. Turn the dial. Yeah, it was quite That's quite neat. amusing, yeah. eh? Neat. Yeah, and we found one of the meter mates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we we just passed through Gore on the way to Invercargill, and in Invercargill we stayed there for well, I think it was about five nights, wasn't it? Something like that. Stayed there a bit longer. Because remember, we were going to leave one day and we decided, no, I'll just stay a bit longer. Um, because there was so much to see down there. I mean, you've got Bluff. Uh, what else did we see down there? Uh, we went to the um, Bill Richardson Car Museum. We went to yep. the Motorcycle Museum. Uh, the Yorkshire right. Motorcycle Museum. Um, oh, yeah. There was a couple Down of too. cafes that are yeah. really beautiful yeah. there. Um, there's that garden restaurant place that we went to. Can't mm. remember the name, but it was the Gables um, uh, Garden Centre. Gables Garden. And they have a restaurant. Uh, well, I have a, a cafe in there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, which that was, was lovely. great. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it had the most enormous omelet I think I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was it was great. Um, so, as I say, we spent about five days down there. Well, we also went to Anderson's Park, which is right next oh, yeah. door to to the campground we're staying at, which by the way, was an amazing campground. It mm. was just spotless and it was that good that I even went in and took photos of the layout of the bathroom and showers because the walls, the tiling and everything, the way it was done was just beautiful, so fantastic. Well yeah, very clean, spotless, a lovely place to stay. So we went to Anderson's Park next door mm -hmm. and we had to walk through there got a lovely big homestead in there and a, a lovely walkway and um, it was during that walkway that we got attacked by phantasms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> must be nesting. Oh, so you got a bit close to a nesting site, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, a little bit grumpy. Yeah, did that and... Um, it's a bit like being attacked by kittens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, it, was, it was a lovely park while we were visiting and of course it's free to go in. So, uh, yeah, so Invercargill, very good place. We could go back and spend another five days there, I reckon, mm. um, because there's so much to see. We never even got, we enjoyed ourselves that much. We still didn't even get to see the main shopping precinct, didn't we? Well, again, they had a, um, an okay. occupation at the time, right. so yeah. we, um, we yeah. avoided that one. Um, yeah. And, yeah, mark it down for the next time. Yeah. So after being there for a while, we decided to head up back through the centre of the South Island of New Zealand up to a place called Alexandra. And once again, we spent nearly five or six nights there. And from there, we made it our base. We went to, what places did we go to? Clyde, Cromwell. Um, That's right. Uh, Lake Wanaka. Um, oh, no, Wanaka. Wanaka. Yep. And Lake Hayes. Um, that we yep. so went to Puzzle yep. World and the... Yes, that's right. We puzzle well, world. Puzzle fun. Yeah. And I'd like to once again thank Bronson and Chelsea for telling us about puzzle world. <laughs> that blew my mind yep. more ways than one. <laughs> that was good fun. That was fun. Yeah. Um, so if you're ever in the area, you've got to look at puzzle world. But also nearby, as Nick just mentioned, was the National Toy Museum. Now that is huge. I mean, there were sheds yep. and sheds of cars and planes and all sorts of things. I even looked out the back of the building and there were paddocks full of trucks and so on. Um, there was, and there were toys, display of toys everywhere. It was just, wasn't it? You could spend the whole day there. Easy. Yeah, they have tickets that um, if you buy it for one day, you kind of get the next, um, the next day free from memory. At that point, and it's it's it will be well worthwhile. We didn't have the time, unfortunately, but we could easily have spent another day there and still seen stuff that we hadn't still had stuff left over that we hadn't seen. Yeah, yeah. Um, so well worth it once again. Mm. Um, so after being at Alexandra for a while, we headed up to a little t 
town called Ranfurly. Now, Ranfurly is, is, is just a small town, but a lot of the buildings in Ranfurly are all Art Deco. And they have a like a little brochure thing that they give you, and you can go, they're all numbered, and you can go around and see the different buildings, like the library and various other buildings, and they tell you a little bit about them. And so that was quite interesting. And we stayed in the campground there, uh, I think the only campground that's in Ramperley, and it was good, wasn't it? Mm, it was, was good. Yeah, yep. very pleasant once again, but what made it good for us, because it was the weather, um, but, the weather, yeah. and, uh, and the borders weren't open at that point, so of course we were pretty yeah. much, yeah. you know, there were only um, very few people on the road, so, and because yeah. we were a little bit slower, we weren't hold, holding up anywhere near as much traffic as we normally do, yeah. which was nice, a lot less yeah. stressful. Yeah, and I mean, most vehicles we saw on the road were either camper vans or people taking yeah. the caravan anyway. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was absolutely lovely. Um, so the next time we have a, a lockdown uh, from borders and that, I think we'll hook up the caravan and <laughs> shoot off again. Yeah. Um, it, it was just great. Um, so from Ramperley, we then went up to Geraldine. And that, to me, is just a beautiful town. Oh, be before we went to Geraldine, we did stop off I'm sure it was my matty. But it's a town that's um, going through a rebuild. Nothing, there's not much that's flash about the area. It's got a lovely building which was a, um, like a big the theatre. arcade theatre. Arcade theatre, yeah. which would be excellent if it was, had money spent on it and they could have concerts and stuff there. Um, but anyway, lovely cafe once again. Fan two fantastic cafes. There's a, mm. a restaurant there that um, is obviously used for receptions and so on. Um, the buildings in Waimati are mostly Victorian, uh, but there's a little bit of resurgence, and you know, with a little bit of a little bit of investment in the town, it would be a fantastic spot. And mm. It's coming alive. Mm. Yep. It's looking really good. Yep. Um, so, um, and you can see the work is just starting there now, with all the upgrading of the roads and even the gals through the town. Um, so, that was on our way to Geraldine. And when we arrived at Geraldine, we stayed at the Geraldine Top Ten. And we stayed there for about four nights, I think it was, something like that. Mm -hmm. And But Geraldine, um, it had a lovely car museum again, which we also gate crashed and had a look around. Yep. Um, that, was, that was very interesting and also, once again, well worth it. If you like looking at classic vehicles, and there was vintage vehicles, classic vehicles, all sorts of things there. Um, and uh, but the the cafes and the restaurants in Geraldine, mm. oh, they're something else. Um, there was one that we went to had that garden area. It's a village cafe. I think it was the village the cafe. Village garden cafe. Yeah. Yeah, and it was set into a garden. Obviously, yeah. someone's a keen gardener. And <laughs> lots of roses, lots of flowers. Very yeah. very pretty. That was lovely, absolutely lovely. Yeah. And um, and of course they've got that big place that does all the. The jams and the spreads and all that, what was that? It was the Barker's Cafe. Barker's, yes. Yeah, Barker's do the um, preserves and um, the lemon barley water and, and so on. And the range that they have there is incredible. It is yeah. Things that I never realised that Barker's did. Yep. Um, and we bought some um, uh, fruit cheeses, mm -hmm. um, which is basically um, like quince paste and so on, and, and um, cherry conserve and a... Lime and um, cucumber cordial, just sauces, marinades, you name it, they had it, it was amazing. Mm. And all in a really big, um, roomy, eerie cafe that um, overlooks the river uh, where you can order food to eat as well and just look out over the river, it's mm. lovely. It's fantastic. Um, Geraldine was just in a lovely, clean town. Right. And, um, so and once again, as I say, it's, it's a lovely town, probably of the small town category. I pick it as possibly my favourite um, in the South Island. Um, so thank you, Geraldine. Uh, from there we went to Ashburton and we stayed at a park just on the southern end of uh, Ashburton. Right next door it had a museum and we had a look through there, it was like a fire fire truck museum and 
Yeah, there was, it was a big museum with all little museums kind of in it, and one of them was the fire truck museum. It was the, one of the few days that we had a lot of rain, so we didn't get to wander around the park, but mm. they had um, the fire truck museum, they had um, tra- they obviously, had, obviously had trains at some point, um, they had uh, Victorian houses, and a circle that meets, a um, sewing circle, knitting circle I think it was, and uh, yeah, so it's... Yeah, well, it was very mm. wet the day that we went, so we didn't get to see anywhere yeah. as much as we would have liked to. But Our first really wet day, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. And um, so we stayed in this campground. It was huge, absolutely huge, this campground. Um, and um, right next door to that museum, that Nick was telling you about. And, um, yeah, it was it was really good. Um, Ashburton Township was was quite nice, wasn't mm. it? We it had was, a look around yeah. the shops and yeah. so on. Uh, it was lovely, um, very enjoyable. At lunch in a neat cafe that um, has all cooking stuff for sale. So, um, yeah, all sorts of exotic um, biscuits and, um, yeah, basically spot exotic foods in general. It was neat. Mm. Very good. And um, so after Ashburton, we um, went up to Hamner Springs. Mm-hmm. And we stayed at the Hamlet Springs Top Ten, uh, another lovely campground. It's, they're up to the usual Top Ten standard of campgrounds. And um, we had a look around there in, in Hamlet Springs and went to the, they had the markets on there, so went to the markets. Mm-hmm. And um, what else did we do there, Hamlet Springs? I think we got a haircut. We did a oh, yeah. haircut there. Yeah. And one of the best cuts I've ever had. So yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, Hamner Springs, and then we had a strike. We went to the Hamner Springs themselves, the hot mm. pools, and they were fantastic, weren't mm. they? Yep. Great way to relax if you've been on a trip around the South Island, just to go into Hamner Springs and have a good old dip in the pool. Mm. Then we went to the cafe there, had something in the cafe, mm-hmm. and um, got really refreshed and headed back to the caravan. It was great. Mm. And of course, everything's in walking distance, so. Beautiful parks. We went for a walk around the park there, didn't we? Mm-hmm. And uh, it was a park through a bush area, and they had sculptures and things, weren't they? And that they carved out. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. It's got to carve them with um, chainsaws. And yeah, mm. so you walk around and get a little self-guided tour, and you can go and find them all and wipe them off. Yeah, it was great. And there were lovely buildings there, lovely shops, a lot of new shops in Hamlet Springs. Um, which is really great. So for Hamner Springs, we then headed off back to Kaikoura again, and we stayed at Kaikoura, the campground there, and uh, just had a nice relaxing day or two there. And we went around, drove through the little township, had a look at the shops, and we went out to that house. The um, out to um, there's a famous homestead, Fife House. That's right. Yep. Um, in Kaikoura and that was lovely having a look through that well worth having a look at if you're in the area uh, so from Kaikoura we went up to Blenheim we stayed in the campground in Blenheim which is on the northern end of the township which is just underneath the right near the state highway and also the main tra- train line um, the pop- bridges, wasn't it? Mm. yeah something like that yeah um, nice campground but um, bit noisy because of the highway and the trains and everything else. There's a few semi-permanents here. But, um, I mean, it fulfilled the purpose that we needed. Yep. Um, so, uh, yeah, we stayed there for about a night or two and then headed from Blenheim over to Murchison and uh, stayed in Murchison, a campground just before Murchison. A lovely little campground. Mm-hmm. Um, and we went into Murchison Township, had a look around the shops and went to their museum in Murchison because Murchison in New Zealand is quite famous for an earthquake uh, that they had, I think about the 1920s it was. And um, so we went there and then we had something at the lovely cafe there across the road. And basically, I mean, there's not a lot to do in Murchison, but nice and relaxing. And so, yeah, that's what we did. And then we head back to the campground. Uh, the only thing we had at the campground was um, 
the campground's got like a little river that runs around it and um, we went for a walk down to the river. It's very, very picturesque and all that sort of thing. The only thing was, when we came back to the caravan, it was covered with those little black... Oh, that's know. right, yeah. Probably black gum gnats. Just little mm. tiny flies. Yes. Yeah. They were everywhere. That's <laughs> amazing, yeah. But, yeah. But the campground itself has great big in insect screens up, so mm. you can go and sit in the, uh, the kitchen and there's a big, lovely, airy dining area and they'll have these huge insect screens up so you still get breeze but no no um, mm. no river flies so yeah so yeah so that was a, a real bonus mm. yeah so that was about the only thing that was a little bit annoying about the campground was those midget things but apart from that i mean it, it was lovely yeah. and um so from there we headed over the hill into nelson and of course we stayed once again guess where Nelson, top ten, <laughs> and um, so we stayed there. Now this is probably the smallest top ten I've ever stayed at, um, but lovely people that run it, absolutely mm. fantastic. We had we met a, a young couple there that looked after us, and um, we we wanted to move to a different site. They accommodate us to to do that, and um, so we stayed in Nelson for about five nights again, I think it was. And from there we went to places like, um, um, what's that beach near? Kaiteri Terry, that's right, over the hill to Kaiteri Terry. That's right. Went out and had a look at that. Beautiful beach. Absolutely, you can understand why people want to go there. It is a must. It's right next to the Abel Tasman Park. Got beautiful beaches, boat cruises and everything in it. And lovely cafes. It's really set up for tourism as well, uh, lovely campgrounds there and um, so we did that, spent a day there and also on the way back we hopped into that wharf, the Mapu Wharf, Mapu wharf. yeah and that was that was nice, they got mm. craft shops and yep. stuff there, right? Mm. Yeah, they had a there, mm. shops to have a look at. Right. Yeah. Uh, we were told to go there because apparently it's a must for fish and chips, and that's what we had. Yeah, they were nice, weren't they? Mm. Yeah. So um, we had fish and chips there, and um, from there we went, because these are day trips, so we were still in Nelson. So in Nelson we did various things, we did all sorts of things in Nelson. We went to a big park called Found um, um, the Founders, Founders Park. Founders park. Mm. And, um, had a look around there, it was huge. And that is a must if you're in Nelson to have a look around that park if you haven't already seen it. Um, all sorts of buildings, historical buildings, yep. buildings from famous New Zealanders there. Um, there was everything from covering transport to, I can't remember everything about it, but it was just all sorts. And it, it was huge. I don't know how many hectares it was, but it was quite big. Mm. Um, we bought a game of Ludo there. Oh yeah, yep. we bought a game of Ludo there and uh, we took it back to the caravan and I challenged Nicola best of three. The loser buys the ice cream. <laughs> I was 1-0 up, thought oh, I got this, I only have to win one more, but a bit like the America's Cup. Um, Came from behind. <laughs> yeah, another spittle. <laughs> <laughs> Came from behind to beat me. So um, yeah, so I Thanks lost there. <laughs> so I had to shout the ice cream. Did I buy you the ice cream? You did. I did. Oh, that's good. I like to pay my debts. <laughs> um, so we went there. We went to the pitches in Nelson. Um, something different to do. Yep. And uh, we looked around all the shops. Um, and what else did we do in Nelson? We looked around the shops. Then we had a look at the... Um the car museum, of course. Oh yes, yep. the yeah, car museum. Which tied in nicely because we had to drop the chef off because it um, started to act up. So we dropped it off to um, to Jared. Yeah, um, autofocus. Yeah, at autofocus, yeah. which is yeah, basically yeah. a quick walk away, so it worked out really well. So we dropped off the chef off in the morning, went to the car museum, spent the day there and uh, came back, picked up the chef, which was, by then was running perfectly, and yeah, went back to the campground. Mm. Yeah, it's a really yeah. good job. Mm. Yes. I can highly recommend Autofocus and Nelson. Yep. Um, by the way, we're not getting paid by them. No. 
But um, the, the young stuff. fella, mm. the young fella there, uh, Gerard Lane, mm. he, he was fantastic. Mm. Looked after us. He said, "Leave the car with me. Go across across the road." Basically, was the car museum in Nelson, and so we spent a day in there. We looked around the cars. We we yeah, got a cafe there, so we had something to eat. And after we had a look around, we went back and yep. Jared had us all sorted. He said, here's your car. And um, just brilliant service. And he deals with all sorts of vehicles. Then he had, yep. yeah, there were E-type Jags. There was, um, um, oh, there was a Nash Metropolitan. I've got to say that because I got one myself. Yep. And, um, and, oh, just. Seven Talbot. Yeah. Yep. A rat rod that was being redone. Rat rods, was, there was, yeah. Yeah, all sorts of vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. And there were modern right. cars, cars that have been hotted up sort of thing. There was all, if it's on wheels, go and see Jared. He'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank you, Jared, and the team down at Auto Focus because it certainly made our holiday that much better coming back. We got home. Mm. And... Um, so that was Nelson, and um, for Nelson, of course, we went to Picton. Mm. Yeah, yep. back to Picton, and we stayed down by the by the marina. There's a campground down there that we stayed at. And that was lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really big sites, and mm. um, just lovely mature trees, and because it was getting quite hot, so it was quite nice to have the trees there just to give us a little bit of shade and. And yeah, just just a beautiful outlook. Mm. And, uh, and they were especially nice because we drove off without our keys. I always have this thing that when you when you leave your site, get one of yours to check the site that you haven't left him with behind. Mm. Well, um, we were running late that morning. Yeah, we we're sort of because we were going to catch the ferry. I was sort of you know always in a little bit of a panic mode. Make sure everything is done, and um, took off and. It wasn't until we got back to the North Island, I think, uh, to North Island, that I realised um, I hadn't got the caravan keys. Mm. And um, lucky enough, we always carry spares. Yep. But um, we didn't have to... So we, we rang the people at the campground. They had the the keys there at the office, and they turned around and carried them straight back to us in Auckland. Yep. Just fantastic service. You couldn't ask for better. Yep. And... Um, so we're really pleased about that. So um, as I say, if you're going to go and stay in the campground, that's one of the best ones in Picton, as far as I'm concerned, for a service, looking after you, and lovely sites. Beautiful, yep. isn't it? Good amenities, big sites. Yep. Yep. Right. Yeah. And um, so it was really good. Um, and oh, while we were at Picton, we had a meal at... The Jolly Rogers. Uh, yeah. Jolly Rogers, yeah. yeah. And we were told to pop in there and try it out, so I'm glad we did. But the meals were... Yeah. We were that, also told to make sure we were hungry. When yeah, we don't eat for the day and then go and mm. you'll love it. Uh, huge meals, absolutely huge. But um, well worth it and well presented meals, lovely meals. So um, that's a Jolly Roger in Picton. And so from there we... I'll just move this dudeki here. Um... From there, we caught the ferry back. Mm -hmm. Now, we went down by Blue Bridge, but we came back by the Inter Islander. And we did this on purpose so that we could see what the difference is between the two. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, my opinion was, and, and my feeling was that if I had a choice to travel again, uh, I felt that the Inter Islander was just that slightly better. I felt that the Inter Islander boat was a, a better boat um, all around. There wasn't much to choose between them though, was there? Really? No, so no it was not, there, there, there wasn't, when I say this, there wasn't a great difference. Mm. Um, I'd be quite happy travelling down to and from the South Island on Blue Bridge any yeah. time. Um, yeah. The service was good, the meals were great on Blue Bridge. In fact, I even took a photo of one of the meals because it was just <laughs> amazing. Um, and in fact, if, if this is my opinion, but I felt that the Blue Bridge meal was just slightly better, but Nicola reckons that the Inter Islander was slightly better. So that there you choice, go. I think. Yeah. 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 So yeah. that shows you how close they are. Very close. Yeah. yeah. And um, 
But um, we had great sailings both ways, didn't we? Very lucky. Um, yeah. They're fantastic. Uh, lovely scenery. The water was, it was a lovely day and um, the water was great. Uh, we didn't see any white caps or anything. It was just fantastic. So we came back to North Island and we, we arrived in Wellington about 7 o'clock at night or something. Yep. And then we had to head off up to um, Queen Elizabeth Park. Queen Elizabeth Park, yeah. I think it was, the campground up there. Stayed on the coast. Stayed the night there. We didn't bother to unhook the caravan from the car because the next day we're heading over to Palmerston North again. Is that right? Yep. To yep. your cousin. Hmm. Yep. Mm. Earthquake there from, from Pearl. Is that? <laughs> oh yeah, our addition, which we'll tell you about in a moment. Um, yeah, so um, so we stayed there for a couple of nights and then we went, had a, a day trip to Fielding, look around Fielding. That was great, great mm. cafes and shops there. Uh, lovely town, Fielding. And then we went over to Kaiwi Beach Motor Camp which is near Wanganui, and we had a little caravan rally there yeah. with the South Island group, uh, not South Island, Southern group. Um, so we spent four days there, I think it was, mm. about four days, and uh, went into Wanganui, had a look around the markets there, and um, yeah, a lovely, yeah. lovely town, wasn't it? Yeah, great mm. markets down by, the, yeah. down by the river, and it just, yeah. Yes. So many different yeah. things to look at. You've got so to try them out. Stalls, yep. Mm. Yes. Absolutely. And, um, yeah, there's some great markets here. And uh, one of the stands here has this, these amazing salt and pepper. Yeah, yeah. It mm. never occurred to me that pepper has different flavours, but the, this yeah. was actually, we bought a little pepper yeah. mill because we didn't have one for the caravan, yeah. and it has really good flavour. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, I think. It's um, peppers and pearls, I think it was called. Peppers and pearls, yeah. yeah. Really good. So if They're you, well worth seeking out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you have at the markets, look out for them. They're yeah. great. And um, it's excellent. Again, we're not being paid for that. No. <laughs> no, we just got one. Yeah. Um, so that was Wanganui. So we stayed there for the rally. And then we, from the rally, we headed back up to Tamanui. Uh, Turing, sorry. Turing, we stayed the night in, in um, Turingi. Just the night, wasn't it? And then we headed back home here to Auckland. So that was our South Island trip back home, and uh, it was great. So then there was a little lull while we unpacked everything and got everything reorganised, and we had to then hop in the car in April and head off down to Bulls Mm. for a special pick-up and delivery. Mm, Special pick-up, yeah. Yep. Mm. So we've got our new little little puppy. Uh, Our little addition, Pearl. And... uh, She's with us right here at the moment. You probably heard her groaning or something in the background. Because sometimes when we talk, she lets us know that we're making too much noise and goes, hmm, we go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, lovely dog. She's a German Shepherd. We picked her up at eight weeks old. And uh, she's now, what, what is she now? She's 10 months old. 10 months old. Yep. And she, um, it was... An interesting episode picking her up until now, like we had to go through all the learning curve of having a puppy growing into an adult. Um, it's been a long time since yeah. um, since either of us had a dog, so yeah. things have changed a lot. Yep. So it was, yep, it was a learning curve. But, but we're getting there, we're and she's great. Yep. But yeah, she's fantastic. Mm. Um, so that was that was in April, and in July we it was the start of the house renovations here, where we. Um, wanted to have the house recladded, double glazing windows and doors put in, and also at the front, uh, we had three tilted doors to get them changed for one big roller door and a small roller door at the front. We couldn't have sectional doors because this is a pole house and there's a pole in the way, so a roller mechanism would be the only one that would fit. So that started in July. Um, everything was going okay for a while, and then about, when was it, November? Yeah, beginning, of, November. beginning of December. Beginning of December. In November, beginning of December. Yeah. We had a bit of a hiccup, but, um, but we seem to be coming right, I think. Yeah. We have had issues yeah. with supply chain delays, yeah. I think, in common with the rest of New Zealand. Yeah, there's all sorts of bonds of supply. Well, now, that 
thing moving is because of Pearl. Yeah. She's in control of the camera right yeah. now with her body against it. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so things sort of went a bit pear-shaped and delayed things, and that's why we haven't been camping or doing any trips. Um, but we did get away in November, uh, and we headed off down to... To Miranda. Yeah. Mm. So, um, yeah. For the... Um, the one of the region's Christmas rallies, the Little Book Club, Caravan Club Christmas rally. Mm. Very, very wet, so it's all oh, turned yeah. out, but it was good. It yeah. was fun. They were a good bunch. Yeah. Our first time away in the caravan, and it would be a wet weekend, but hey, you know. Mm. Um, sometimes but, it's nice being in the caravan when it's wet, though. True, yep. yeah. And, uh, and they've got big dog friendly, so, fenced dog friendly yeah. sites, so it was perfect for Pearl for her first trip. Yes. Um, she got to see everything that was going on without. Um, yeah, without being a nuisance or, um, yeah. or being in any danger for any passing vehicles. Yeah, so, um, excuse me, I was just watching a fly there for a minute. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, so yeah, it was lovely and, and if you got if you come to New Zealand or if you are in New Zealand and you've got a dog or something like that, Miranda, has, as Nicholas said, these lovely sites, fully fenced, and um, the facilities there are first class, so they're lovely. And um, so, yeah, we had a great time there. It was our Chris, Christmas rally, is that right? And, um, and we were the host for it. And um, so, yeah, it was, it was a great time. Good to catch up with all our old friends again. So, um, basically, after Miranda, we came back here and things with the renovation sort of slowed down a bit. It was getting close to Christmas. And so, basically... Um, they were just tidying things up, ready for recommencement in January, um, which is only a few days away when they come back. And let's hope that it runs smooth, because as soon as the renovations are done here, we're going to be free from the place to be able to do some more. Go travelling again. Yeah, and that's what we look forward to in 2023, is a return to camping. And travelling around a bit and doing bits and pieces and be able to turn around and say it's a lovely few days coming up let's go mm. and that's what we want to do yes yeah yep. be so lovely right well um that's about it there's pearl she's you know she's, look at her she's it's not an earthquake folks it's just yeah. pearl and um she um i'll, I'll just show you pearl now because she was eight weeks old when we got her so i'll just grab the camera and show you that. Where are you, Bill? Bill? Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. So that's Bill down there now. Hey. And she is now about nine and a half months oh, old. Something like that. Yep. So um, she's just woken up. That's why she's yawning. But anyway, that's it. That's it from us. Thanks for joining. And um, there's the rest of the crew down there and um, we'll catch up to you soon yeah yep. Yep. Oh. see you soon okay have a good 2023 see you soon that's it.